Welcome back to my bathroom and welcome to episode 25 of Is It Shit? Today we're gonna rate some of these Timu miniatures. We're gonna make a Make It Mini Food Miniverse together. <laughs> and then we're gonna go through some of my personal miniature hoard. It's a lot. All the links to the Timu miniatures will be in the description box below. There's also a coupon, Kippin. There's also a coupon code if you want to use that. And on my website, it's also in the, quit doing that with your hands. It's also in the description box. I'll have a bunch of these for sale for a dollar free shipping from the Timu hoard and from my personal miniature hoard. I'm just gonna put them in lots together. Just a way for me to say thanks for being here and watching watching whatever this is. Cheers. First up, this is a dollhouse blind box. This was $2. Okay. It looks like we have a puppy here on a serving platter with a goblet in case it wants to drink wine or something. I wasn't expecting that. I don't think it's worth $2, but I do love a good surprise. So for that, it's an eight. This is a rice cooker. It even comes with a rice paddle and it has the texture detail on it. Rice cooker to dime ratio. Here it is against a Sacagawea coin. It actually opens, the buttons don't move, but it is cute. This is $2.30, that's a solid 10. For $2, you can get this. This is a genie lamp. It's a nice gold color, it has all the little details. I love this, this is gonna go great. It's gonna go great in my miniature cabinet where I display the finest of the finest of my hoard. I don't have a dollhouse or anything. I just like to just look at them. If you've had a Jones in for a new Apple laptop, get you one of these. Open it up. This is made out of metal. The keyboard is flat. It's like a sticker with resin on it. This was $3. I like this. It was a little bit bigger than what I was expecting. I. The laptop doesn't stay open though. I would give this a five. These are bath loofahs. Look at these. You get five of these for $4. The little string is, it's moving, it's flexible. There's a word for this material. This is perfect. It looks just like a bath poof, bath poof. I'd give this a solid 10. For $5, you can get this vacuum cleaner. Oh, what? That is a surprise to my eyes. It's bending and flexing, ladies. I don't know if these things are still around, but my grandma used to have a rainbow. I'm not really sure if it was a vacuum or a carpet shampooer, but it looked like this. And she would rainbow all the time. I can still hear her in my mind. Brittany, get the hell out of the way. It's time for me to use the rainbow. You didn't want to mess with her when she was cleaning with that rainbow thing, okay? This is fantastic. I was already impressed, but now that you can make it move in different positions. It could do without the smiley face, but I think it's a 10. These are gold bars. They're actually heavy. Can we take a moment? Because this is probably the only time I'll get to hold a gold bar. You get 10 of these for 250. This would be so cute to stack up like that. If I had a dollhouse, it would just be wacky, which I want one. I've been looking for one, but I don't want just any dollhouse. I also don't want to make the dollhouse because who has time for that? I went to a yard sale one time and there was one that a prisoner had made and it even had electricity and stuff. And I'm still mad at myself for not buying that. Anyway, I'm on the lookout for one, but I want one that's like kind of goth, has electricity and stuff. So I can just be doing bad shit stuff. I would put these gold bars in the laundry room where we do the money laundering. So if anyone knows of a dollhouse for sale, let me know. I'm interested in that. These are a 10. Look at these watches. Four of them for $2.50. They're all laying flat so it can sit on the dresser. Oh, it's got a hole in it. Can you see that hole so you could put a chain through it or a string if you wanted to wear a watch on your necklace? You can make a charm bracelet. Is that weird? There's four of them. These are great and I haven't seen anything like this. So these are also a 10 for me. This is a KitchenAid dupe in teal. Oh, look at the plug. It even has two little prongs. Also bend and flexes. It doesn't move up, but that's okay. You can remove the bowl and this is shaped like a heart. What is that called? The blade, it's not a blade. The whisk, the attachment is shaped like a heart. They had this in a bunch of different colors. It makes the rice cooker look way too big. Still cool, but I like it better when it's smaller this size. This was $3.50 and I would give this a solid 10. I would buy this again. I love when the cords do this, so cool. This is a storage cart. This is a size one to six scale. So this is for a Barbie. Wow, it's, it's in pieces. These. Oh, these go in here. That goes on the bottom. The wheels move and this rotates just like on the real cart. Then it comes with these two little wooden, and they're actually wood, covers. This was $4 and I think this is so great. A lady on the review said she was gonna use this to put her earring backs in and put it on her bathroom counter. This is gonna be great whenever I get my mysterious dollhouse. This will be my bar cart. This is also a 10. This is a UPS box. 
it needs tape, but here's what it looks like when it's put together. Like a real legit box. It even has that little umbrella thing on it. Oh, look, it has a label. <gasps> what? That is perfect. This would be cute at the front door of my dollhouse that I don't have. This is a dumbbell. It was $2.50. It says Fit Life on it. It has the hole so it could be a necklace or bracelet charm. This is really cute, but I actually bought a set of these. I think I got 20. They were advertised as beads. A lot of the miniatures that I have now are actually jewelry beads. It's a lot cheaper to buy them that way than when they market them miniatures. So I think the price is high on this. If you want one of those, I would look for the bead, dumbbell beads. I'm gonna give that a two. These are Ferrero Rocheras. Ferrero Rocheras. How do you say that candy, the gold candy? $2.50, which is about how much a three pack is right now of real ones. Comes with the little candies, foil wrap, just like the real ones. Came with this jelly sticker. So I guess we put this on the bottom and then peel off this side. This felt insert goes here like that, right? And then our little candies, I think it was supposed to be on top so they would stay still and not be all loosey goosey like that. Then it also came with this logo sticker thing to go on the top of this case. Perfect. I love these. These are a solid nine. That wraps up the Timu miniature haul. Now we're gonna make one of these. These are Make It Miniverse mini foods. They're kind of like those mini brands, but you actually get to put this together and it's made with resin. So it's combining miniatures, crafting, and food. All my favorite things. I have this one and this one, which is a lot smaller. They're just different series. We're gonna do this one together and I'll put this one on my website for someone for a dollar free shipping. Here's what you get inside and everything's covered up. We have chocolate sauce. When you open this, it's actual resin, but it looks like chocolate sauce. <gasps> Look at the strawberries. Look at that, that's perfect. Whoa, that's a plate. One of those tweezers. What is that, chocolate covered strawberries? Some of them can be more elaborate. I did a cake not long ago. Let's dip the strawberry in our chocolate and then you put it on the plate. You can put this by the light or the window for sunlight to cure this or if you have one of those, a UV light for your nails. I have one of those I got off Amazon. I went through this little spurt where I thought I could be a nail artist and it didn't work, but I have the light. So there it is. I'm just gonna set mine by the window. Now onto my personal miniature hoard. We're not gonna be able to get through all of it today. That'll take about four hours. I keep them in these little tackle boxes and they're categorized by themes. So this one is animals. These I actually got on Etsy. They're homemade miniature crows. When I get my gothic dollhouse, I'm gonna put the crows on top. These are camels. I also got these on Etsy. They're homemade from somewhere, someone in their basement. Camel cigarettes even has the back. Look at the beer and even has the head there, ladies. I also have the wine. If you're a white, red, or ro is that rose, the pink one? Wine drinker. Cheers. I love this one because it's real glass. It's a sweet tea container pitcher. And look at the little glass of tea. Budweiser, a cocktail margarita on the rocks, or it could be, uh, what is that? Just a straight shot of silver tequila, possibly. Absolute vodka. They have these drinks at the Oriental Marketplace I go to. It's got seeds in it. Do you see that? Those are fun. Love this one. It's got the nice detail, the lemon lime, a pitcher of lemonade. Frappuccinos. There's vanilla and chocolate. There's a lot of fun ones in here, just mainly liquor ones. People having fun out there. These are also from Etsy. These are pickles. Do you see the pickle? This is the hobby box. Oh, look at the tennis racket. It's a little big, but that's still really fun. I have all these little musical instrument things. Yeah, they're music instruments, bitch. These are actually Legos though, from the Lego store. They have the little minifigure accessories, little bathroom tissue. Here's a new toothbrush for you. Got a lot of weapons too. Can't show you those. This is a hair dryer. It's actually an earring from Claire's. I'll just snip that off with wire cutters. This is perfect. It's a little small, but it's fun. Plants. Here's the trees from the craft store. These are so fun and very realistic. You can get these in the model train section. That's a hobby too. Have you ever seen somebody with a model train in their basement and it's taking up the whole damn basement? So I guess this is kind of the redneck version of that. Collecting things like this. I don't know. Why am I feeling ashamed? Am I feeling vulnerable that I'm sharing this with you? I don't know what's going on. At least I'm at home now. I'm not out drinking and shit. At least I'm at home looking at dumb shit in my basement. I don't even have a basement. <laughs> this one has random stuff. Oh, look at this. Monopoly money. That's going to go in the money laundering room. Monopoly houses. Remember that toy? That was fun. Lots of pots, ladies. I've got lots of, lots of pots. The babies that are on the mayonnaise. Soups. Look at the little sushi. Soy sauce, Panda Express noodles. This is one of my favorite miniatures. My mom gave me this. It's some kind of sculpted. I think it looks like a ghost with a witch hat. It's got those ooh eyes. 
This is another favorite. I got this at a yard sale. She just gave it to me and it's a dragon, but it's some something about this is just really neat. I don't know why, but I really enjoy it. I guess because it's metal and most dragons these days are plastic. In case you haven't been out dragon shopping lately. There's just a little glimpse into my miniature hoard. Let's check on this thing that's drying. See how it's stuck on there. So now it's just a great little thing to stare at. Check it out, stare at it. Thanks for joining me here in this bathroom for this hall hoard, hoard hall. For today's words of wisdom, words of wisdom today, what do we have? You know what, let's forgive ourselves more often. I am really talking to myself. And I was proud of myself, let me tell you something I did. Follow me here. This is one of my jobs, but I have other jobs that I do. I've got two other jobs. So I don't really have a whole lot of time to be making mistakes. I shot the YouTube video, which was, what was it? I don't know. Oh, the fall haul, y'all, the fall haul. I put it in the computer, rendered it up, and then I started chopping it up, editing, editing the video. I was on about 23 hours of editing time. And then my computer did a pop-up and said, do you want to overwrite this? And I had never seen that before. The choices were yes or no. I'm a yes girl, so I said yes. I want to overwrite this. And it completely, time warped everything that I had done, 23 hours of work, back to the beginning, back to zero. I told myself, you can have five minutes, you can have a five minute pity party. Get the balloons out, get the hat on and cry about it. So I did, I cried about that. And then I looked around and realized that no one else is going to help me or fix this mistake, it's going to be me. And it's gonna go by a lot faster if I'm not crying and I just straddle the task, straddle it. And when I did that, I found that the end product looked better than the first time. So I learned something new. I learned what overwrite on a computer means. It means it erases the whole damn file. I also learned that I am fully capable of doing something in a very small amount of time. And lastly, I learned that I can forgive myself. It's kind of like a silly example. It's like, it's just a YouTube video, but these do take a lot of time. You know, I know it doesn't look like it. Hopefully, does it look flawless? Probably not. Anyway, that's a dumb example, but it really highlighted that I'm capable of forgiving myself because I kind of struggle with that. Beat myself up when I do something dumb. And it's even something little, like when I say something stupid to someone, I'll replay that in my mind. Remember when you said this? Like, bitch, I don't need to be reminded. I don't need to be reminded. Okay, back off. I'm talking to me, not you. Anyway, I think when we forgive ourselves, things flow better, if you will, and it allows us to recreate and reinvent a bigger and better version of whatever it is. Does that make sense? Anyway, so let's forgive ourselves for whatever it is. If it's something dumb, like a mistake on the computer, or if you did something real bad. If you did something bad, we all do it. I mean, we're human beings. Human beings here on this planet, just for a short time too, just for a short time. No one gets out alive. It could end at any time, so we need to embrace it. We need to stop holding on to the negative. You made a mistake, girl, you made a mistake. Carry on, onwards. Just don't repeat it. Make the mistake, don't repeat it. Got it? Okay, fantastic. All right, so that's it. Did that make sense? Probably not. Next week, I'm gonna see you back here in this bathroom on Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern time for another episode of Who Knows What. So until then, have an amazing week and I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool.